Hello, my name's Lucas and welcome to Shit Old Games. So today we have a game called Cruncher in Mazeland, a game released in 2002 by Duckfoot Technologies, which has cleverly used images from Windows XP as the game's screenshots. Very professional stuff there, guys. The back of the game case reads, Guide Cruncher through dangerous levels pursued by relentless enemies. Make a jump for the keys that will lead you further into the maze, but carefully you don't wind up at a dead end with an out-of-control robot right on your tail. Run, jump and crunch your way through loads of desert, ocean and toy town levels. There are ramps, ramps, jumps and secret doors you can use to stay one step ahead. I'm, I'm not even joking. Go on, old folks. There we go. There are ramps, ramps, jumps and secret doors. They just had to put ramps there twice, didn't they? It never ends this shit. So this is Cruncher in Mazeland. If you haven't noticed, there is no sound. This is not a glitch. There is no sound in the entire game. As such, I'll be providing my own. Ah, that's better. So, what it looks like is just some kind of Pac-Man clone. Alright, let's, let's select the world, I suppose. Um, what do we have? We have Wild World. Nah, don't want that. Uh, mi oh. Th these aren't seconds! What are these? Okay. Yep, this is this is just Pac-Man. What was going on with those seconds over there? Uh, those are like milliseconds. Haha, <laughs> die you evil robot things. Now, just look at the face of this, this main character. This is something that doesn't want to live. As for the game, um, it's, it's just Pac-Man with horribly drawn sprites. Uh, I suppose the 3D gimmick is decent, at least they're adding something new to the table, but it doesn't look like they, they, they've done it very well. I mean, look at those graphics, even for two, for 2002. Dear Avenger had better graphics than this. A lot of this looked like it was just drawn in MS Paint. Oh. Oh wow, that's creepy. It's like it's screaming for help. Um, okay, this is a pyramid. Wow, this looks confusing. Haha, <laughs> it's party time. Bitches. Nope, dead end. Yep, dead end again. Oh, I hate this level. Oh, for God's sake. Alright, up here. Forty pellets left, even though these are quite obviously triangles. They don't look like pellets to me. Oh, the controls are so annoying. It is just like Pac-Man, to be honest. Um, where you go a certain direction and you you keep moving until the end unless you change direction. How am I supposed to get out of here? Oh god, oh, oh, okay. That was a blood-curdling scream there. That doesn't make me feel good about this. This makes me think that they've put some kind of personality into the robot and somehow allowed for him to feel, and his life is just unending agony. Um, okay, so... Movement arrows that don't... that you can't go back on. Alright, that's decent, I suppose, even though it doesn't look like there's any point to having them. I see keys floating around. But... Oh, I, I, can't, I can't jump, let me, let me out, let me out! No! Why'd you do this to me, Cruncher in Mazeland? Can't jump over this, I must need the key for it. Oh, that, oh, damn it! I hate dying because it makes me feel so bad. It's like I've mur murdered him or something. Let's get the red key. Um, I think there's one more key I need. Yeah, it's over there. Ha ha ha. Die. Alright. Just need to get these few and it'll be fine. Hopefully this will be the last level of this. That 
that's still creepy. <laughs> oh no, there's still more levels. What? What? You just instantly die. I couldn't see a way out. Jesus Christ. So all in all, it was just Pac-Man. But it doesn't end there. For I have another game from my friends at Duckfoot Technologies. Called Froggies. Now this game was also released in 2002 by Duckfoot Technologies, as I just said. And you'll notice there's a striking similarity to um, Cruncher and Mazeland. Wherever I just threw the case. Here it is. If we look at the back, colours are identical, fonts are identical, um, their usage of Windows XP images of screenshots is identical, and also the games are identical. That's right. On this one, you have a robot in some kind of 3D Pac Man world. In this one, you have a frog in a 3D Pac Man world. It is literally the same game with a different character that they've published under a different name. Bastards. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, it gives me motivation to make more. Uh, join me next time as we continue to explore how low the bar is really set in the early noughties. As always, thanks for watching.